Hello there guys, you are here making a quick TF2 tutorial on how to install custom maps, skins, head sounds, and HUDs into your TF2 game after the Steam Pipe update. After the Steam Pipe update, Valve has changed the way TF2 sorts your files. And the main difference is that there is a custom folder and a download folder now. Inside the download folder, this is where all your custom files are downloaded from people's servers. And to install custom maps, you just copy and paste map files into this folder. As you can see, I have a lot of uh, maps in my TF2 game. But to install custom skins, you have to download one from websites such as Game Banana. So after you finish downloading, you can just extract the files. And inside the extract file, you find materials, models, scripts, and sounds. So what you do next is go into your custom folder and if you copy and paste these files into your custom folder your skin will not work. So what you need to do is make a folder inside your custom directory. You can name this anything you want. But since this is a skin for the assassin's knife you just make a folder then copy and paste these files into your directory for your mod. So the first f files that you need to have in order t for your mod to work is the materials, model, scripts, and sound. Or else your skin or mod will not work. So you can also combine mod files like this. If I have another mod that's for a spy, I can just copy and paste the materials and models and sounds and scripts into this folder and merge them. And this is also makes it easier to down or delete certain mods you don't like anymore. So now to install custom hit sounds, what you need to do is download a hit sound from places like TF2 Dingling, where you can easily find sounds you like. And what you need to do in your custom folder is make a folder and you can pretty much name it anything. So I'm just going to call my hit sound. And in the head sound folder, you have to make a folder called sound. Then in the sound folder, you have to make a UI. Then in the UI, you just copy or drag your head sound into the folder. And now that the head sound is installed, you can you will hear a different head sound in the game. But to install custom HUDs, it's pretty much pretty easy to install PV HUD. After downloading PV HUD, you just extract the files to wherever you want to. And inside the folder, you find these three things, but you only really need to copy these two. And, and you just press it, put it into your TF folder. I already have these folder or files, and I can just move it and replace them. Then what you need to do is is to use the executable file. And to install the HUD, you just press the install button. So what this executable file does, it goes into your custom folder and makes a directory, then places resources and scripts. And this is the same way you install a custom HUD manually, is that you download it, extract the files, and you make a directory in your custom folder. Then you copy and paste the resources and scripts and other folders that your HUD uses. So I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful, and I'll see you guys next time.